Hello YouTube, I'm back for uh, part two of building my uh, Batrium power center here, BMS. And today we're gonna wire it up a little bit here and build a wiring harness. We're gonna use this uh, professional fural crimping tool. Comes with all these cool little connectors. Gives it a better connection when you, instead of putting wires in here, which can arc off each other or whatever. I recommend that you use uh, anywhere between 12 and 16 gauge wire to wire the BMS. I feel 16 gauge is plenty. Make sure you use primary wire uh, so that it can handle the heat. You want to start by stripping the wire down. I have these really cool snap-on strippers that are awesome. They're a little bit older but they kick butt. When you wire this this will be your ground, and then it's going to go first cell positive, second cell positive, all the way down to 16. We're only going to use 1 through 8. You grab a connector, and you're going to want to measure the amount of wire that you have stripped off from here to here. You're going to want to slide the connector over. You grab the crimping tool, and you go to about here. And you make sure you get a full crimp down and you release and as you see here the connection is pretty solid there I trust it when installing here zero will be ground here you're gonna want to use a nice screwdriver because you don't want to mess the threads up on the screw here Not too tight, just enough to secure it, and then you check and you pull, and just to make sure, not too tight. When building a wiring harness, I always mark every wire. I grab the piece of just black tape here. This will be my ground wire here that I know. And with this one will be my first cell positive, so we're going to change the connector color. And it's like the first one you're going to want to... crimp down, get a nice connection, just check your crimp, and you're going to want to come over, and you're going to want to tighten it down, and secure the connector, like so. And the same thing with the negative, I just mark each one and I just want to just grab a piece of tape and put number one positive on it. I'm using a 24 volt LifePo4 system, so we're only going to use cells one through eight. Make sure you continue on tagging cells one through eight while you're wiring so you don't get lost when you hook it to the battery. I also secured the loom down with a zip tie here and here. I also use some loom protector so I can start the harness. I also use some loom protector here for the shunt cable. And of course, I had to add the fully charged logo to my Batrium BMS power center here. It's now a fully charged Batrium power center. Thanks for watching. If you like my videos, please like and subscribe.